be pink. Very cool. Speaking yeah. of my wife, so 30 years ago today, yeah. we went on our first date. Oh, congratulations. Guess what movie we saw? What? what? Let me guess. 30 years ago? 30 years e. ago. <coughs> no, not, that would have been 40 years ago. <laughs> yeah. A little later than Top Gun, so uh, I'm going to guess Lethal Weapon. Dirty Dancing. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. That was your first movie? October 3rd, 1987. Wow. Yep. Good job, Dan. first date. For that, you're going to do the weather. Really? I don't know how. Right. <laughs> well, then I'll, I guess I Neither can take this to that Yeah, great weather, great sunrises, yeah. great sunsets, cool cliff. Cool and crisp and clear nights. That's a lot of C words to use there. But look at this great uh, sunrise we have from our Skmania Lodge camera as we look east. A nice day up there and an easterly wind even in the gorge. So that's helping to push relative communities down and temperatures up. A nice day out there. Here's a live look outside right now from our Skmania Lodge camera. The great weather continues. A live look at Stoller Family Estates down in wine country, Dundee. Nice weather out there too. The grapes are ready to be pulled from the vines. Probably already been pulled by this time of the year. That's why I'm not a wine guy. Hey, 71 degrees, low humidity, a nice evening out there. Back here in Portland, 70 degrees. That northeast wind continues. Got a little gusty this afternoon as well. Again, low humidity, so it feels nice out there. Temperatures in the 60s along the coast. Tillamook's a warm spot at 70. As we look into the metro area, Beaverton 71, Sherwood 69. Out there on the east side, Battleground 71, Camas 65, Gresham 68. Nice temperatures here in your 4 o'clock hour. 70s up and down the I-5 corridor, 70s along the coast, 50s and 60s on the east side of the state. Just a light north wind down the valley, fairly calm along the coast. Same thing on the east side of the Cascades. Big ridge of high pressure, very easy to pick out here. No storm systems at all out there in the Pacific. They'll be pushing to the north up into Canada. If you go out tonight, it'll be a nice evening, but remaining cool. Temperatures cooling back down in the 50s. No rain in sight coming up anytime soon. Sunshine and warm will continue this week. We'll remain dry. And those cool overnight lows dipping down into the upper 30s and even low 40s in the Willamette Valley. Rain chances are next seven days pretty low coming up, but then next weekend we do introduce a chance of showers on Saturday and Sunday. We'll see how that all pans out coming up. Next seven days in Portland will be warmest on Thursday at 75, and then we cool it back down to below average over the weekend and warm back up. More sunshine again next week with temperatures back into the 70s. Our weather pattern map as we let this roll shows a lot of red on the map. That's a big ridge of high pressure. All the cool systems staying up in Canada will be protected throughout the week under nice ridge of high pressure. Cloud and rain forecast looks more like a lot of sunshine coming up in the next few days. So we'll move right on from that. Our state forecast coming up. Nice weather for the valleys tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s, lower 70s. Eugene, Salem, out there along the coast. A great day to get down there. Onto the beaches, temperatures in the 60s and low 70s. And the east side of the state going to be real nice over there, but after cool mornings coming up there the next few nights. There's that seven day forecast. Sunny and warm on Wednesday, 74. Thursday, warm and sunny again, 75. And then we increase the clouds slowly, guys, on Friday. Bring the temperatures down just a little bit into the lower 70s. And then Saturday and Sunday, we have a chance of showers coming in as the system brushes by to the north. And when, like I say, we warm it back up next week. And the one thing I like most about October yes. is that we start out nice and warm, uh -huh. average high of 70 in the beginning of the month. And then we taper it all the way down to just 58 by the end of the month. Mm. And a lot more rain. But at this point in time, longer range models don't indicate any really? rain coming anytime soon after okay. this weekend. So. We'll see if we can continue this stretch of dry Octobers. Last October, last year, totally different. Right. Very wet. Very wet. And one other thing we look at this time of the year is La Nina, El Nino. It looks like we're moving into a La Nina this year. And that typically is warmer, excuse me, wetter and colder than normal here in the Pacific Northwest. So we'll see how all that pans out mm. in the Does next couple of weeks. that usually mean snow in the mountains? A lot of snow in the mountains in uh, La Nina year. So it looks like it could be a good ski season up there. Another good ski season. Yeah, it was a great one last year, too. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. You bet. Okay, let's check in with Jeff Giannola with a look at what we're working on.